there are a couple of things I want to cover today. One of them is, and I need to say it because I keep meaning to and I keep forgetting to, I want to apologize to so many of you. I so appreciate your coming and being part of my world as I go through this and be part of my world always. But I am not always in a place where I'm able to immediately reply to your comments these days. I want to, and when I read them, they touch me, they make me smile, they bring tears to my eyes, and they just plain make me feel loved and cared for. But there's so much going on in my world that when I come to look at these things, when I'm able, I try to answer quite a number of them, but I do it just based upon what's right in front of me, and I don't want anybody to feel as if I'm not answering you. I do apologize. I will try to get to them as I can, but I can't do it 100% right now. So I just want to get that out because I don't want anybody to feel as if I don't appreciate it. I do absolutely 100%. Another thing I want to talk to you about today is just about feelings. My feelings are all over the lot. Some days I'm doing great. Some days I'm feeling like I can conquer the world. It's all going to be fine in the end. I will get through it somehow and I will come out of it a better person in many ways and hopefully well enough to function in the world that I know. Um, and if I, if I don't, and if I can't, I'm going to have to accommodate that as well, because this is life, folks, and this is not the dress rehearsal for it. So whatever it is, we learn to accommodate it and how many people have been through so much worse. So, but I do, I, I go from the deepest lows, which never last long because I do manage to get myself to bounce back up because I, I'm basically a glass half full kind of person. I, I really am. I just believe somehow that everything is going to work out. Maybe not smart, but it is who I am. So on that note, um, wanted to share with, this is hopefully going to be really quick today. I do have a number of videos to put up for you. I mentioned it once before. They're going to be totally out of sequence based upon what I can upload at a time. Later today, maybe tonight, and of course this, I don't know when this one's going up, so this too might be out of sequence. I'm going to be loading one that was my meeting with my doctor after the tumor started to grow again. And I had my little mini panic attack over the weekend when I saw how large it had gotten and that it frightened me. Okay, on that note, let me show you what I am going to... <laughs> I'm sorry, there was just a message from my seller, so I need to react to that in a couple of minutes. Um, this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. This is a Bob Mackie top. It's a nice, loose kind of wing top. I will have a full shot of it in the mirror, such as the mirror is, so that you can see it. And I'm wearing it with leggings, very thin leggings. It's extremely warm here today. I don't dare complain about it because I complained about the cold weather. So thank you, God, for giving us a warm day. Um, I have made a discovery that I really do not need to buy uh, slippers, thankfully because two of the sneakers that I bought, and I had shown it to you in an earlier video, I don't have it right here in front of me. It was that navy one that has the lacy crocheted pattern. It's extremely, extremely soft, comfortable, and I can cushiony enough to feel like a slipper. It's gonna work perfectly for me as that. So that's one thing I don't have to take care of. I am going to have to buy other things ahead of time to put in place. Thank you, Sheila, for giving me some tips on some of the things that I'm going to have to have in the house, have to have set up in the house for when I come home, and um, I'll take care of those. As things evolve, I'll keep you updated on everything that I'm doing and putting into place, 
and everything that happens as a result of it. Um, the shoes, by the way, for any of you who are concerned about me with the little heels, don't be. I bought those little heels for now before surgery. I don't anticipate wearing it anytime after surgery for a very, very long time, if, if ever. I don't know what I'll be able to wear, but it was something that I thought would make me feel good in the meanwhile, and the price was so low that it was not, it, it was okay to indulge myself with something like that. Um, you know, when the, co the ultimate cost of the shoe winds up being $10, maybe $12, it, it's worth making myself feel better for that little bit of time. Um, the sneakers, I think, are going to work. The slip-in ones, slide-in ones should be good for right after surgery. The ones I have to tie will be way down the road, but they're comfortable shoes, so I should be able to walk in them. So I'm happy about that. Everything else is as it was, nothing new. I've had time to assimilate what the plastic surgeon said, and yes, it's going to create more of a an additional healing location and I'm just gonna have to deal with it it is what it is I'm glad he'll be in the OR I'm glad they will be prepared for any eventuality and I'm still gonna pray that this thing that the radiation will shrink it enough that it's gonna be much easier surgery than they anticipate and that the healing for me will be easier than anybody anticipates so it's in God's hands, and I have great faith. And yes, the rainbows have been there for me, and I'm very, very grateful for them as well. So that's it for today. I'm going to show you the outfit in the full view, and next one is going to be more about whatever it is that's going on at that moment in time. In about an hour, I'm headed over to my seller's home to uh, be there for the inspection. I'm assuming that that will go well, and then hopefully we're on our way to contract. So I'll let you know how things go with that as well, and I am happy to be able to be here for you today, not feeling quite as stressed as I was yesterday. It is true, when I hear the news, when I first hear it, it becomes very difficult for me. I am shocked by it, and I need to assimilate it. It takes a little bit of time. So that is it. I don't know if I should have gone with the nude lip today or does it wash me out? I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe I'll add a little bit more of a bronzer kind of look to give me a little bit more of a tan look. And we'll take it from there. The eyes are still in the blues because I was so happy with the way they looked. The mascara that I'm wearing today is the, um, the lights camera lashes that I adore and actually had been using for a number of years before I ever got into all of this and they do make my lashes look good for my wimpy little old lashes so that is it folks same nude lips same um, outline on the lip that's it I'll see you soon have a great day